Welcome back to the channel, everyone. Today, we are going to be making my own personal brand. So, in my other videos of me building my truck bed, I put our Wagner Ranch brand in the middle of it. If you haven't seen those videos, they're on my channel. A whole series of me building that truck bed. But, we are not going to be making that brand today. We already have one of those. Today, we are going to make, be making my own personal brand, like I said earlier. So, here's my quick build sheet. Let me look to make sure y'all can see this. Okay. So... This right here, this line and this line, that resembles one piece of pipe. Down here, this one and this one resembles another one. That one's gonna be cut at a 12 and a nine o'clock cut. So these two right here are gonna be one piece of pipe. This is gonna be another piece of pipe. Hopefully that doesn't sound too confusing. I know I made it more confusing than it should be, but that's gonna be that part. These two are just gonna be pieces of flat strap. So I'm going to be using this two inch by an eighth inch piece of pipe and this one and a half inch by eighth inch piece of flat strap. So we're gonna be cutting this with the chop saw and angle grinder. So let's get right to work on that. So the pipes are cut out, as you can see here. I already got them marked. Uh, there's the nine o'clock and 12 o'clock, my bad, just like that. And then the half and half. And then I have the two pieces flat strap cut out. As you can see here, I cut the pipe the same width as the flat strap. You can't really tell. I have it wrong way, my bad. There you go. You can see that they're the same width. So whenever I make my brand, they'll all be looking the same. So the next thing we need to do is grab the angle grinder with the cutoff wheel, cut these in half and cut that other one, and then start tacking this thing up and welding it together. Okay, so everything is cut out, grinded down. As you can see, I have it sitting on top of the template. The only thing that's different is I left this a little bit longer than I had it drawn. I did that because I don't know what size I want the overhang on the J to be. But as you can see, I have the S, the J right here, and then on the bottom down here is a W. I know it's, it's not noticeable, but it's on there, so I thought it was a pretty neat brand I came up with. So like I said, next thing we need to do, tack this thing up and uh, weld it up and we'll be done. So I just finished the brand up. Here it is. I cannot really cover up the back so y'all can see it better, but yeah, that's pretty good. You can see pretty well. So the next thing I need to do is add a rod on it. I'm gonna go outside, forge the uh, eye in the end of it, and then I'm gonna weld some pieces on the end of it, on the other end of it, to attach to the brand, like our Wagner Ranch brand. So, like I said, this one's done, grinded all the spots down that I welded, just to make it look a little bit nicer. Um, not gonna clean it or anything, it's gonna get rusty just like this one is, thanks to the oxidation of the fire, but yeah, I'm happy with it. So let's get to making this eye and making the handle and we'll be completely done. And that's gonna be a wrap for this video. Thank y'all for watching. So the brand is done, as you can see here. Got it welded three different ways for the support. With the handle, did a little bit of different design on it. I didn't do just a round loop. I decided to do kind of a, uh, 
I don't know what you would call it. It's kind of like a knife handle almost. So it has a little drip dip down here and it kind of swells around your hand. It gives it a nice feel. So you have a little bit more pressure so you can push. But uh, after this clip, I am going to put a clip of me branding a piece of wood with it, throw in the fire and brand a piece of wood. So stick around if you want to see that. If not, thank you all for watching. Please like and subscribe. God bless and I'll see you on the next video.